Welcome to the Mujawara Sketches YouTube channel, buddy. In today's video, we're diving deep into the thrilling world of One Piece, focusing on one of the most enigmatic pirate crews that have ever sailed the Grand Line, the Red Hair Pirates. In the world of One Piece, there is a group of pirates who are in control of everything and make smart decisions. And that is, of course, the Red Haired Pirates. They are now known as the Emperor's Crew and are one of the most powerful pirate groups in the anime. They are led by Akagami Shanks. What's even more interesting is that none of these people eat devil's fruit. The only thing that got these guys to the top was their strength, and they did it at a time when pirates with powers from devil fruit were taking over the seas. This is a strong piece of evidence that the red-haired pirates are very strong. The red-haired pirates have started making big moves in the One Piece universe. Fans have been hoping for this for a long time. So, it's time to get to know everyone on this amazing crew. Let's start! Part 1. Who are the red-haired pirates in One Piece? Akagami no Shanks is the captain of the powerful red-haired pirates in the New World Red-haired Pirates had one of the best Jolly Rogers when we first saw them in manga. Shanks and his Yonko crew are currently one of the four rulers of the sea. Shanks used to be a part of the famous Roger Pirates before he enlisted in the red-haired pirates. But after Roger was killed, he went on to start his own team. That's how we got the red-haired pirates, who are now one of the most powerful groups in the world. Like Shanks' old crew, his new crew doesn't have any people use devil fruit. In one piece, they got to the top of the status ladder by using hockey and other skills. In one piece, both the world government, the marines, and the other pirate groups are afraid of them. Part 2. List of red-haired pirate members In the egghead arc of the manga, which is still being written, the red-haired pirate group is finally coming out of hiding to be the first to speed up in the race to find the One Piece. We've come a long way since we saw Shanks inspire Luffy to start the Straw Hat Pirates and see Shanks' group in full action. Even the newest member of the Red Hair Pirates has a huge bounty, and it's clear that all the other members have bounties that are bigger than the average pirate. Shanks, Ben Beckman, Lucky Roo, Yasop, Hongo, Lime Juice, Bonk Punch, Monster, Building Snake, Gab, Rockstar, and Yuta are just some of the top names of the Red Hair Pirates members. We just recently learned the names and a little bit about the red-haired pirates. We don't know exactly how things work in the crew, like who is in charge, what each team member can do, etc. Shanks is in charge of the crew, and Ben Beckman is second in charge. There are also a lot of top officers on board. So let's find out all about them right away. Shanks is the captain, possesses hockey skills in armament, observation, and conquerors, with a bounty totaling 4,048,900,000 berries. Shanks used to be a part of the Roger Pirates, but after Roger was killed, he started the Red Hair Pirates. He is chief of the Red Haired Pirates. He has a crew with no people who eat devil fruit. Shanks also doesn't have skills from devil fruit, but he is a very strong hockey user. He is called the killer of observation hockey because he has mastered all of the known forms of hockey and even found a new, more advanced form of hockey. At the end of the Wano arc, he recently used his conqueror's hockey to make an admiral run for his life, even though he was miles away. He has the fifth highest reward in the One Piece world. Now that Kaido and Big Mom are gone, Shanks is the most powerful ruler with the strongest crew. Ben Beckman holds the position of first mate and is proficient in armament hockey. Ben Beckman is the dedicated right-hand man of the famed Shanks. He is Shanks' trustworthy first mate, just like Zoro is Luffy's trustworthy first mate. Ben is one of the most powerful characters in One Piece, even though we haven't seen much of him. This is because all first mates of well-known pirate leaders are powerful. Ben is one of the main red-haired pirates, and he is Shanks' second-in-command people in the world and East Blue fans know that he has the best IQ of any character in the show. Ben Beckman is known for being quick, strong, and good at fighting. He also has a high IQ and is very smart. We know that Ben can only do armor hockey right now. Ben gives his rifles rounds hockey to make them stronger, just like a fencer would do to a blade. He held Kazaru at gunpoint with this very smart plant in the Marine Ford arc, which is one of the best arcs in One Piece. Yasop serves as the sniper and senior officer, specializing in observation hockey. It sounds like a familiar name, doesn't it? He's the father of Usopp from the Straw Hat Pirates, so of course it does. Before joining Shanks' group, Yasop was known for being a great sniper. So Shanks went to the Syrup Village to find him and convince him to join the Red-Haired Pirates. People call him Chaser, and he is the sniper on the crew. 
He is also one of the crew's most experienced and important people. Yasop has the best shooting skills of anyone in One Piece, and he might be the best shooter we've ever seen, Yasop said. And this may seem like a bit of an exaggeration, that he can shoot an ant's head from 100 feet away without hurting the rest of its body. Because of how well he shoots, people call him an aimbot. People say that he never misses a shot, and Luffy confirmed this by saying that he has never seen Yasop miss a shot. His observational hockey skills help him become a better marksman. We hope that Yasop and his son Usopp will get back together soon. Lucky Roo, fulfilling the roles of cook, senior officer, and combatant, is skilled in armament hockey. Don't forget that Lucky Roo was the one who found the Gomu Gomu no Mi Devil Fruit which was recently shown to be Hito Hito no Mi model, Nika, and stole it from the Marines. Later, Luffy ate this devil fruit and became strong enough to use several gears methods. Lucky Roo is the red-haired pirate's cook, but he can also help them fight. He is one of the senior personnel and fights in a unique way called self-bowling. So, do you remember Ben 10's cannon bolt? Lucky Roo can also roll into a ball and hit his opponents in the same way. Like Ben and Yasop, he is a key part of the crew. His body is very flexible and strong, which makes it great for his unique style of fighting. Lucky Roo can only use armament hockey, and right now we don't know anything else about him. Last but not least, Roo in English means redhead, which is another smart play on words by Oda. Lime Juice holds the rank of senior officer, and details regarding his hockey abilities and bounty are presently unknown. Why do the red-haired pirates have such odd names? The next refreshment is Lime Juice. Even though his name might seem funny, his character isn't. He is one of the Red Hair Pirate's more experienced members, but we don't know what else he does. Lime Juice is often seen with an electrically charged stick in his hand. He can also use his legs to jump into the air, like Sanji's Skywalk. Lime Juice's fighting style is much simpler because he fights in the air with an electric staff. We will have to wait a while to find out more about his skills and how he fights. Bonk Punch is both a musician and a senior officer. Their hockey abilities and bounty remain undisclosed at this time. Shanks' Red Hair Pirates have had a lot of bands on board over the years. One of them is Bonk Punch, who, along with his monkey monster, is an entertainer partner. He is also a top officer, which gives us a lot of information about how powerful he is. As his name suggests, Bonk Punch's special ability is to build up power in his hand and hit enemies with a powerful punch. Monster takes care of the weak enemies while he charges up. A great friend because of the ability he has. Monster holds the roles of both a musician and a senior officer, with their hockey abilities and bounty currently undisclosed. Monster is a monkey and is in the red-haired pirates with Bonk Punch. As was already said, they work together both as musicians and in battle. Even though he is a monkey, he is said to be smart and able to understand people. You can't believe that he is one of the top officers. He helps in battle by holding off enemies until Bonk Punch's super move is ready. Monster is an interesting figure that fans all over the world would love. Building Snake is the navigator and senior officer, with both hockey capabilities and bounty status currently unknown. The idea behind Building Snake is cool and odd at the same time. He is the red-haired pirate's navigator and a top officer. He has two swords and uses the juggling two-sword style, which is different from Zoro's style, which uses three swords. Building Snake has a flexible body, which he uses to fight by doing acrobatic moves. He can also dance with his swords, but we don't know how that helps him fight enemies. I'm looking forward to seeing him fight because he is one of the red-haired pirate's many secrets. Hongo, the doctor and senior officer, has undisclosed hockey abilities and an unknown bounty. Hongo is the red hair pirate's doctor, and he is known to be an expert on medicines and medical techniques. He is also one of the most experienced team members and has a second skill. He knows a lot about guns and can take apart any one of them in a short amount of time. Imagine you were fighting him with a tool let's say a gun, and he took it from you, took it apart, and threw it away right away. Sounds too strong? If you look closely, you can also see that Hongo's tool is a pole arm. Howling Gap, a senior officer, possesses undisclosed hockey abilities, and details about his bounty are currently unknown. Gap, who is often called Howling Gap, is the last Red Hair Pirate's top officer on our list. He has full control over the rest of the crew, just like all of the other top officers. Even though he looks like a dangerous person, he is actually shy and nice, right? Don't judge a book by its face. Will you believe me if I tell you that this guy is afraid of ghosts and bugs? Although it's hard to believe, it's true. Gab's skills, he can shoot air blades from his mouth by roaring in a special way. People say he can also make people paralyzed, but we haven't seen this happen. So, it might help keep opponents at bay, maybe? 
Rockstar is a valued member with unconfirmed hockey abilities and a bounty of 94 million berries. Do you remember the guy Shanks sent to Whitebeard, but Whitebeard got mad and asked Shanks to come himself? Rockstar is a member of the Red-Haired Pirates and has a cool name. He is not yet a senior officer, but he is an important member of the crew's fighting force. Before the time skip, he was a new member of the team, but he already had a huge bounty of 94 million berries, which was a big one at the time. A new member of the Red-Haired Pirates had this huge reward when they first joined Imagine what the core members' bounties were like. We just can't wait! Rockstar is also a swordsman on the team. His unique way of using a sword is called Splitting Sword. He uses this sword style to cut his opponents in half. It's a very scary move. People also say that when he fights someone, his sword makes holes in their skin. People say that Rockstar is loyal to Shanks and sticks to the rules. Yuta, a former red-haired pirate member, demonstrates proficiency in armament, observation, and conquerors hockey. Shanks, a famous pirate with red hair, took Yuta in as his own daughter. Shanks and his team found her in a treasure box, as if history were to repeat itself. Shanks raised Yuta, in the latest One Piece movie, Red, told her in the Red Hair Pirates stories. She worked as a musician with the Red Hair Pirates before she left the group to become a singer. Yuta was without a doubt a welcome change to the world in the world of One Piece. Yuta is now a well-known queen. She has eaten the Yuta Yuta no meat devil fruit, which makes sense because she is a good singer. Even though the events in the filler episodes of One Piece and the movie are not official, her character is. We hope to hear Yuta sing again, and maybe we'll even get to see her perform with Shanks. Bonus member, Buggy the Clown. Everyone on Roger's crew went their different ways after he was killed. Shanks wanted to start his own group of pirates, so he did today. We call them the Red-Haired Pirates. Did you know, though, that Shanks was the one who first asked Buggy to join his crew? Seeing the two best friends together must have been a sight for fans. But sadly, Buggy turned down the offer right away. But it looks like it was for the best because both Shanks and Buggy have gotten to the top on their own and are now the emperors of the sea. The red-haired pirates are the best and most dangerous pirate crew of this generation right now. Shanks is making quick progress in the race for One Piece. He and his team are now on Elbaf Island. Each member of the team has special skills and is loyal to the captain. So, keep an eye on the anime and manga to see more action and news about the red-haired pirates as the story goes on. That's a wrap on our exploration of the red-haired pirates in one piece. From Shanks, the captain with unmatched hockey skills, to the unique and powerful crew members, they truly are a force to be reckoned with in the world of pirates. Thank you very much for visiting the Mujawara Sketches YouTube channel, buddy. We hope you enjoy our funny sketch videos and anime reviews. Don't forget to subscribe to continue joining us on our joyful journey in the world of anime. If you have any wishes, questions, or suggestions for our next videos, feel free to express your thoughts in the comments below. Thank you very much for your support, and until we meet again. See you next time, buddy.